leaders in those Democrat-heavy counties for that. So far, more than 20 candidates are vying for the other U.S. Senate seat in Georgia against Kelly Leffler. We'll continue to cover those campaigns. Say so long to more restrictions in Georgia. They're going away. The governor says people 65 years and older no longer have to shelter in place. Nursing home residents still do. We can have concerts again July 1st. And starting Tuesday, restaurants don't have limits on how many people can eat there. After a few setbacks, USC Aiken is finally going to celebrate its graduating Pacers. That announcement coming after the USC system called for all in-person ceremonies to be banned because of the virus. Here's News Channel 6's Devin Johnson. The May 6th graduation was originally scheduled for August 15th. Then it was called off for good leading some students to protest on campus. We feel that they listen to students who are going to continue coming to the university, but not us who have, you know, finished at the university. We heard our students and, and we listened to them. And that was one of the biggest things too, is to have their name called uh, and acknowledging their accomplishments. USC Aiken leaders say they were always going to figure out a solution to celebrate the class of 2020. The school finally came up with a decision to host a Pacer graduation parade. I thought that was a perfect resolution because it allows for social distancing, but still allows us to have a, a, our names called out and receive our diploma covers. Cecilia Maddox is one of the protest organizers. She says the inspiration came from local high schools having socially distanced graduations. Maddox believes the school's chancellor got the message loud and clear. I haven't heard about any protests at any other USC affiliated campuses, so maybe, you know, it did have that kind of impact. Maybe it was because we marched on the campus, student leaders stepped up and marched on the campus, and people were vocal on the USC Aiken Student Life page, and there have been a lot of, there's been a lot of upset on that page recently about a lot of different things, and so I think the university is starting to feel pressure to listen to its students. No one tells me. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for the collaboration between the school and a few students. Uh, we know how important commencement is to them, and it's an important thing for our whole uh, campus as well, cheering on those students that have worked so hard for four to five years uh, to graduate. Um, so we're so happy as a campus uh, that we are able to uh, work together with everyone uh, to give them that acknowledgement. Uh, we were able to bring on a couple students onto our committee uh, to make sure that uh, we all work together and, and have that great accomplishment of uh, that goal that they had. The parade will start in parking lot C and will end in parking lot B. In Aiken, Devin Johnson, WJBF, News Channel 6. New at 5, South Carolina getting set to spend its CARE 